All right, hey guys, here with Venus, and we are down to the last moments of Ledgestone. I de I have I am done with the tournament. I'm driving home right now, and I wanted to give you guys a recap. This tournament has always been a blast every single year. I'm only going to touch on the uh, the rounds itself for a few minutes because it's hard to do to talk about it when I don't have any footage of the round. But I'm going to try to tell you, like you know, overall how I did and what parts of the game I'm working on. So I'm going to show you the uh, a screenshot of my scorecards uh, of all three rounds. Round one was on Friday, which is day three. Round two was on Saturday, which is day four. And round three was on uh, Sunday, which is today, which is day five. I've been down here for four nights and five days, and I wanted to tell you guys how I did and uh, what I need to work on and what I'm happy about, what my takeaways are, and uh, Basically, overall, what I think about the, about the tournament um, after having been attending it for the last three years. First of all, round one, I was 10 over. I started off okay, and then I hit a snag at hole number five and just doubled that whole, double bogey. No, I think it was triple bogey. Um, and then everything just went downhill. My putting game, I have a huge block on my putting game. And I'm going to go over in details about my game on a different video. I think I want more footage of like me playing so that you guys uh, can see, like, you know, kind of take you guys along in another video. But basically, my putting game has a huge mental block. And it's as high as the sky, and I can't get it to break. But one of the things that I've learned is that I do great on casual rounds, and I do great on local rounds with my friends. In practice and I do great and so but then when tournament day comes the, the mental block is just there and I've been working through that so anyways round one 10 over super super upset about that and then all that did was made me less confident and that just made me more upset at myself like like all these hours of practice I put in I'm not where I used to be back in 2014 which is the last tournament prior to the pandemic and anyways Moving on to round two, I ended up shooting 11 over. Round two started off really bad, and it started with pouring rain like dogs and cats. It was just like just water upon water. I do not have a problem getting wet myself. Like my hat wet, my body wet, my feet wet. I don't really have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is my bag and my disc getting wet. As long as those stay dry, I will have a good round. However, when I was trying to put the rain fly on it was raining so bad that water got into the rain fly underneath the uh, between the rain fly and the bag and so it created a pool of water from the get-go the moment I left my truck the moment I started walking off to the first tee to tee off it was just downpour so bad that everything was wet before I even got to the first hole furthermore the wind picked up so bad that it in the there was so, so much water coming down that the wind blew water into the back of my bag once again trickling water into um inside the rain fly in the bag so that just caused the whole entire bag to soak everything in it was soaked my extra socks my extra towels i forgot to put them in bags it was a whole mess i ended up shooting 11 over on round number two bad very bad Again, my putting woes continue. My mental block was still there, and it was so bad. I had good drives, good up shots, but every time I get in the green, I can't finish. The, I can't finish it, and I could not finish putting. So then, last night, after round two, I went back to the hotel. I took a long, nice, hot shower. Uh, took all took all my wet clothes and hung them up to dry. And then I thought to myself, what is it that's causing me to have this mental block? And then I realized it's because I am not consistent with my body motion on the green. Nothing was consistent. My snap was not consistent. I was afraid that the disc would fly over the basket. And then I realized that I wasn't throwing the disc with enough pop for it to reach the basket. And when I was not doing that, it would fall short or it would fade out to the left before it even gets the basket so it would try to catch the chains and then it would just die out and I realize it's because I'm not committed and the reason that I'm not committed is because I am so ill confident right now I have no confidence on the green so then I thought to myself let's find 
a way to be consistent with my body motion, with my body motion and my arm. That's all I need to work on right now. So that in the hotel room, without a disc in hand, I started doing the body motion of putting what I do in practice. I'm like, okay, do one thing that's consistent and you do that tomorrow. Don't even worry about anything else because everything else we can practice later. So then I thought to myself, let's just do that. And then it hit me. It hit me so hard. The light bulb went on, the heavens opened up, whatever you want to call it. I realized what I was doing wrong. My body was not consistent. My body was off balance. I was throwing it to the right. I was throwing it to the left. I was throwing it. The body motion that I was doing on the green one, I'm not confident, was that it ultimately ended up putting my, pushing my disc down instead of straight or up at the basket. So, this morning, I left the hotel getting ready for round three, and I said, I'm going to get to the course early, and it's not supposed to rain today, and it did not rain. I got to the course early, I got to the practice basket, and I applied that body motion immediately. And lo and behold, I shot a five over today instead of 10 or 11. Now, let me explain something to you. I started the round, round three today, hole one, with a birdie. I parred the hole number two, and then I birdie hole number three. After three holes, I was two down already. Or maybe four holes. I don't know. The scorecard says it. but. And then I think it was by hole five is when I got my first double bogey. And every single bogey or double bogey today was not due to C1 putting woes. It was all due to, because this was a really wooded course that we played at today. It was all due to misfires on the upshot or the, the, the tee, tee shot. And I could not scramble to get out back to the fairway. And that's the only reason why. And out of those five strokes, the, the, la, the four of those strokes came from the last two holes. Double bogey, bo both holes. And it was because I was in scramble mode and I could not scramble to save my par or my boogie. So overall, I am super excited that I figured out what the problem was and I'm chipping away at that wall, at that block that's a mile high and I'm able to bring it down just a few notches. And the reason I was able to do that was I, it's because I constantly go to this tournament every year. I constantly go to tournaments even though I don't do well, even though I'm dead last. But I can't overcome this fear. I can't overcome this block if I don't go out there and do it. Because the only time this mental block exists or shows up is in tournaments. So that's all I'm going to say about that. You see the scorecard. Moving on. Ledgestone Open is probably one of the one of the best tournaments that I go to in terms of overall experience meeting new people. It's a huge tournament, and I'm so glad it's close to my home so I can go to this. And if you ever guys, you guys ever get a chance to go to Ledgestone, I would highly recommend it. It is a vacation, especially if you're not from around here. And um, the experience is great. Every day there's something. There are so many flex um, flex tournaments that you can sign up for throughout the whole entire week. So you literally get to play disc golf the whole entire week. You go eat, sleep, go back to the hotel take a shower the next day do it all, all over again you get to d disc golf every single day and it's like one of those experiences that you just never forget and you meet new people all the time here and I meet new people every single time I go so yeah I enjoyed it I wish I had more footage but um, knowing how exciting this is and knowing that my game has improved and knowing that I finally get a round that is not horrendously 10 over and the last four strokes that I received was due to just you know poor play but not not because of putting it's because of just poor play and poor judgment call whatever you want to call it and um, yeah I'm next year I'm planning on bringing my equipment and recording my rounds and I'm gonna ask the tournament directors to see if that's okay because I really want to show you guys what these courses look like and they are wonderful courses they're not you know they're not readily available to watch on YouTube because they're for amateurs, but I think the amateurs should be able to watch these and if I can bring it to you guys, then so be it. All right, I think that's all for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the spur of the moment um, vlogs that I started with the Latchstone. I wasn't planning on doing this. That's why I don't have any equipment. I got my phone, 
but I will see you guys next time. And then starting tomorrow, I'll be wearing the um, the Grip EQ bag. I'll be switching that over to that bag and then I'll wear the rest of the season. I have one more tournament, so I'm going to use that bag and see how it goes. And then I'll do a review at the end of the season. Um, I think that's it. Otherwise, um, yeah, you guys have a good day. And I hope you guys, you guys uh, all get to golf. And uh, I hope to bring some videos of breakdown of my game in mental and physical game and see if that will help any one of you especially the female amateurs. So if you guys know of anybody who wants to um, learn some more information or just have more information available to them, let them know. Um, but I'll hope, I'm hoping to bring those videos as soon as I get my equipment together and get on the course. All right, guys, this is here with Veer Desk. I will see you guys next time. Bye.